So, we got a nice show match today here. We got Kensei versus Gino. If you guys have followed the stream, or if you've looked at the top 100 in the past few months or seasons, you might have noticed these guys on the top 100. They're actually, I don't think either of them are there now. Kensei recently tanked his ranking out of the top 100 um, for who knows why. You know, sometimes the motivations of these guys are impossible to know. But both these guys top 100 caliber players. I'm not sure how Gino fell out. He is probably in the 90s in the recent weeks. But they also have illustrious... Yeah, that's right. Illustrious. Nice shot here from Gino on a flip reset off the ceiling to get the first goal of the game. It's something Gino definitely needs to get some momentum here. Really filthy. Get that top right off the post against Kinsei. It is good for him to get going and get feeling. But anyways, like I was saying, these guys actually have a, a huge career on the stream. In fact, these are the two players who have played the most matches on the stream. They've, As you can guess, they've played each other before considering they've played so much. It was at the end of a gauntlet that Gino made a great run, passing through a lot of players he was ranked lower than. Nice play here from Kinsei. But he met Kinsei in the finals and Kinsei 3 0 him. So the one time these guys have played before, Kinsei did easily take down Gino. As both these guys putting on some fancy shots to start the match. There was a gauntlet and you weren't in it. I'm sorry, there was a gauntlet. We did two different gauntlets and we haven't been able to do a gauntlet again since then. Um, but they were really fun. Uh, the problem with gauntlets is you do need a lot of players to just get them going. So that was really the reason why they died out. But Kinsei... Undefeated on the stream, 8-0, as people who have stuck around here know. Um, Kinsei first made his debu debut around when Semikiss was the leader of the stream, and the Kinsei Semikiss game was very hyped up at the time. Uh, little did we know Kinsei was starting to take over. Um, I think everyone had Semikiss probably winning that game, to be, to be completely fair. But since then, Kinsei has blown up. He's not only made it onto Johnny Boy stream, but he's made it into the RLRS and had a nice game today in that RLRS game as he's going to get a counterattack goal after Gino. Oh, no, he's not. He misses it off the post. I'm sure he's going to beat himself up for that one. But Kinsei probably feeling good today as I saw he uh, went 3 0 today in RLRS. He's just going to let this one float and roll in. He has no incentive to rush as Gino misses a challenge and sends himself flying. But Kinsei and his team getting the 3-0 in uh, RLRS. I think that sets him up to be locked in to stay in the RLRS. Feel free for anybody to uh, talk to me about whether or not that's actually true. Unfortunately, nice musty off the ceiling here from Kinsei. These guys are almost exclusively putting in insane goals. Nice reset. Gino tried to get up early, but it doesn't matter. Um, I think Kinsei is... Uh, Kinsei and Absolute Leverage are unable to get top three. So they're unable to play for uh, the RLCS, but also unable to drop to the bottom four, which I believe the bottom four have to requalify. So I think he's officially um, staying in the RLRS as he gets a nice fourth goal here. They're locked in fourth seed. There you go. Thank you. And fourth seed just means you stay in RLRS, right? And it's as close as you can get to having your opportunity at RLCS. So I'm sure... Wanda Mike, Kinsei, and Rodoko are bummed but ready to go back at it this next season. And uh, he's definitely got the Fear RL stream patrons behind him. But here he is playing in a way more intense game, putting his undefeated streak to the test against Gino. Gino has been known to. Uh, Get some upsets here as he's played almost exclusively against players better than him and, and is, has a winning record on stream. Seven and four. Uh, his four losses are to Kinsei, um, Jordan, uh, both like top ten players at the time. Um, he lost to Robo, who seemed to be his like, uh, like not rival, but his kryptonite because he seemed to be sure he was going to lose when we first suggested robo play on stream 
But yeah, other than that, he's pretty much only lost to good players and upset a lot of good players, as Kensei's fancy goal ends up going high, and Gino's going to be able to counterattack here. The thing about Kinsei that I've talked about before when he plays is I think one of his best qualities is his ability to be unaffected um, in his play style and seemingly his mindset based on how any goals go during the game. I think it's one of the reasons why you see this uh, kid or this man able to just stick to these huge streaks. He's done amazing on Johnny Boy Stream as he does another insane goal here. Um, I think these streaks and these huge, uh, I don't know, like games that he's in that he continues to never drop matches comes from the fact that he's unaffected by mistakes, unaffected by when he does not succeed in the middle of these games or does lose a game in a series. Uh, he continues to play his game. And that is how you make sure you play at your best at all times. And he's done so with us, and he's done so everywhere else as he's kind of had a meteoric rise in the past few months. But he's up only two in this game against Gino, as Gino had potentially an opportunity to slam a goal in at midfield there. This long shot from Kinsey is going to be enough, and Gino gives him a nice shot in chat just so that you guys know. Trading some pleasantries. Gino just trying to stay close to this ball on a challenge, but just some fast play from Kinsey to bring it around the corner and out towards the net. As soon as he can, it's going to put him up 6-3 in game number one. Can say with possession off the kickoff, tries to get a pre-flip here, but ends up flying past it. Gino does well to put the pressure on immediately, and he's going to take over control as he sets up his dribble. Gino in his uh, um, signature car here, the Gizmo, as I'm starting to forget that Gambit ever played it, and I'm going to start crediting it to Gino. Uh, when he first played on stream, I think maybe his very first game he played in the Merc, and for some reason I just started to assign the Merc to him in my brain, but looking back at all the VODs, he played Gizmo in pretty much every single game, but that one where he played Merc, his demo, should be able to get him a goal here. Actually, he's not able to get around the ball here. He needs to do some King Randy drift training, but it doesn't matter as Kensei doesn't get that good of a spawn. I think he spawned about as far as he could over on this side. Yeah, if he spawned even just one closer, he maybe had a chance at saving that, but... His RNG is not good enough, and Gino will reduce that lead to two, but with 24 seconds, it's going to be hard to come back. Kinsei goes for the fake kickoff, maybe trust that to do a better job at keeping Gino out of that net fast, because all he has to do is waste some time here. A little back pass. He's not going to turn in on this ball until Gino forces him to. Nice air dribble. Great play from here. I'm just I'm hitting the clip save. Every single time Kinsei goes up for a shot, I'm just going to start pressing it early here as he's putting in some amazing goals. And that'll be it for game number one. Looks like Kinsei's going to win. Gino might carry this out. Potentially get another goal. Kinsei doesn't seem like he has too much interest in saving it. But he will tap it away and these guys give each other a GG. As Kinsei wins game number one. Uh, if you were to donate anything up to $10, I'll match it. If you, of course, if you donate more, they're going to get everything. But um, I think that's a fair way to do it. If you guys disagree, we can go right on back to just putting in five every single time. I don't mind that. If that's what these guys are incentivized here. And that's what they really care about playing. We can do that every time. Just trying to mix it up. But anyways, we get into game number two. Gino started off game number one with... An amazing shot, although he's unable to finish it off. But he gets a nice clean one here. Which is good to just remind him that, you know, Kinsei is not invincible. Does a good job of just taking that dribble in really, really close. Uh, watch, uh, Watching that bounce dribble all the way in. Bringing it as tight to Kinsei's goal as he can. The closer and closer you get, the less reaction time and angles that these goalies have. Uh, that's why these people try and convince... Uh, attackers to give up that ball early with fake challenges and whatnot, but Kinsei this time hangs out in front of his net. Gino does well to hold onto the ball and gets a nice power shot past him. It's good play from Gino, and Gino, although he's yet to steal a game from Kinsei, does seem like he has the ability to. Kinsei with just a nice little demo. I don't know how he went for this or how he got this. 
just knew that Gino was going to be trying to steal that boost from him, so kind of just forgot about the ball and went for Gino, and maybe just got fortunate that that ball ended up bouncing off the top of his car. I'm not sure he cared too much about how that dribble went. He seemed like he was just aiming to get that demo, which he did succeed in doing. Nice kickoff win for Gino. It'll be really good for him to convert on these opportunities. He did get the boost steal, but the shot is going to get saved. He needs to keep this pressure on and convert on these opportunities if he wants to end up getting the upset on Kinsey here. Nice fake from Kinsey with low boost. Means he's able to keep possession. Gino's not able to get that demo and ends up only carrying Kinsey away, but there's going to be a nice possession reset here. And Kinsey not going to make the same mistake he made last time. Only one fake challenge this time. He's not going to keep flipping his car on both sides of the field. As Gino has proved the ability to score on him when he gives him too much space. Minute and a half down here, and we're still tied 1 1. A nice half flip here from Kinsey. If he's going to get a nice recovery here, really good play from Kinsey. This is not easy stuff, guys. This is really nice recovery ability. Using those two flips and power sides to get behind that ball. Very impressive goal by Kinsey. One that maybe doesn't look as flashy um, as those flip resets, as those ceiling shots but maybe even more important than any other goal that can be gotten, be gotten, be get. Oh my goodness, you'll have to forgive me. But that showing that ability to control your car on the ground and control the speed is like the difference between being a good and bad player. It's a reason why these guys are so fast in every game mode they play, not just ones. He's going to get a couple bumps here. This is two shots go off the top of the backboard. Gino gets to bring it downfield. Nice shot by Gino. We'll give, we'll give a little clip save here. As this was a really nice air dribble brought right to the top of the crossbar. This is the only way you can sneak these goals behind these good defenders. Is usually getting that pinch off of either the crossbar or the post. Uh, and squeezing it in that way because they're so good at covering every other part of the net. Uh, you will not make it in if you aren't squeezing it in through the smallest opening nice musty here but the angle wasn't great and Gino does not have to try too hard to get up in front of it but gets a little bit greedy and doesn't have faith that Kinsey can get up and hit this ball in maybe didn't think Kinsey had 51 boost but that's actually really impressive another goal here by Kinsey that when you look back at the replays they might not show up in all the highlight goals but they're the they're easily the most impressive the to be able to get up behind that ball when starting in front of it um, and get that shut that angle in with the 51 boost he had is just it's the reason why these guys are sitting in the top 100 in the RLRS while we're just watching them play but nice flick here from Gino this was the way he made his uh, his bread in the beginning of his first few show matches on stream it was that flick I remember him doing many a people dirty and he's going to tie this game back up. 3-3. Three, three. Kinsey may be hitting a little bit more mechanically impressive goals. But he's going to give time to Gino again. And Gino puts good placement on this. It is saved out. Good patience by Gino as he tries to get a low 50-50. But some good challenging from Kinsey. Does reset the attack here. Gino with low boost. Gets a pop over Kinsey. Kinsey a little bit slow to a ball. Not something you see very often. Very safe play. With no boost from Gino as he just rolls up to this very slowly. Gino with another lead is going to get erased by a kickoff goal by Kinsey. I'm sure that's got to feel terrible. But I think Gino has had more leads or at least had the lead you know twice now to start starting the game he had a lead and just a second ago so he has to feel good about the fact that it seems like Kinsey is playing from behind as he puts another nice shot on net forces a hard save out from Kinsey but the speed to get back to this that goal absolutely could have been in Gino not giving Kinsey the respect that he deserved on how fast he played that ball maybe getting a little bit lucky that it ended up being a couple inches off 
Another really nice midfield challenge from Kinsey, and he's going to get behind this ball and get his fifth goal. Kinsey playing at another speed above Gino in this game. In some cases, it's costing him, but more often than not, it is benefiting him as he takes this up the wall again. I'm sure Gino has given much respect to this play, but this air dribble ends up going fairly low, and Gino just needs to do a backflip in place to clear it out. Nice read from Kinsey to jump over Gino's attack, and that is going to cost them all his boost, so he'll have to fully reset here. And the Cookser pinch doesn't connect for Kinsey, so... He'll find himself on defense. This flick is high on the counterattack. Maybe if Kinsey had boost, would have come right away, but he's going to bring it to the wall first. Try and go for a double tap. Not able to find that angle, but with 30 seconds left, he doesn't need to find it as long as he's able to keep Gino out of the net. This is a dangerous bouncing ball here, though. Gino playing it as patient as he can, but nice 50 50 from Kinsey. Kinsey just turned that ball cam off. He knew it was in. Very impressive challenge. Your 50s, no. This is an insane 50 from Kinsey. Gino says, my 50s, no. It's just the challenges have been heavily in Kinsey's favor. How he's able to make these reads, we'll never know. But he's going to go up 2-0 in this second matchup against Gino. Looking to repeat the result of the first, and he is going to get scored on here, but it's not going to matter as it's 6 5 in favor of Kinsey. He'll take game number two. It's been a great matchup so far, um, and it looks like uh, what I'm about to say is actually something that Element just mentioned in chat. Um, Despite Gino winning this the last matchup against these guys 3-0 uh, and winning this one so far 2-0, it kind of gives the wrong impression of how much um, you know Gino is actually losing by. He lost this last game by one. Of course, he lost by one because of a last second goal that Kinsey maybe let in because he knew it didn't matter. But even losing by two, I think his previous game was about by one or two as well. And uh, those are close games. I mean, especially in ones with some high scoring games. Uh, keeping him close like that is very impressive. And although the end goal might, uh, the end score might end up reflecting that, you know, Gino could lose in another sweep, it really doesn't feel like that much of a. Two fifty donated from Only Ray, which means these guys are going to get the regular five dollars. That we normally get because I will match that 250. If anything additional is donated up to ten dollars, I'm gonna match that as well, guys. Thank you, only Ray. Uh for getting these guys some financial incentive to make these, but I can't believe that ball ended up bouncing back into Gino. Unable to score off that as the crazy pre-jump wall ride read from Kinsey is able to stop his shot out. Nice speed from Kinsey. The car control on these taps. These taps that he's getting 90% of the time. Players not as skilled as Kinsey are going to come to the ground or try and come to the ground off that first touch. Of course, if he did, Gino would have been right under him. He would have gotten his line all messed up. But no, he stays in the air. It seems to casually be able to control his car for that second touch and get that first goal of this game. Seems to like to play from behind at the beginning of these games. Uh, I'm sure he doesn't like to as he gets a nice dunk here to get goal number two. Gino just looking to start a dribble right in front of his net. Didn't think that Kinsey was anywhere close maybe and gets a little bit too hard of a touch to initiate that dribble. That ball gets separated and it's able to be dunked by Kinsey. But Kinsey has not scored, scored the first goal of any of these three games, which is an interesting stat. I'm sure if you were to look at who scores the first goal and who ends up winning... I would have to guess it'd be somewhere around, you know, maybe even 60 to 70% of the time. Of course, if there's one game mode where that's not true, it is 1v1s where there's so many different goals. But Gino goes back to the bread and butter and gets a nice flick on this dribble. That one that he loves, nice power 
to get it over Kensei. Kensei maybe a little bit, maybe waiting a little bit too long to challenge on that shadow defense. Maybe it's because he's 8-0, or maybe it's because we've seen him play so well, but it's so hard, even in these situations where he's tied 2-2, to not feel like Kinsei's winning. I mean, he seems to be so in control of these games. He does get a nice 50-50. It's kind of like um, innocent until proven guilty. I know it doesn't make sense, but that's what I mean. Kinsei's going to win until you prove he won't, you know? Until we see it actually happen and we see him not win, it just it's hard to not feel like he's in control of the game regardless of the score. Kinsei's bread and butter though is gonna tie it right back up. Three three. Once again, Gino keeping this game close, making it look like it could be anyone's game. A nice long shot this time is actually stopped out by Gino, despite Kinsei hitting a bunch of those so far this series. Just surprising Gino and how fast he hit these counter attacks. That pinch, I'm sure, it was meant to be heading towards the net, but it just goes into the corner. And Gino's going to go back to that flick, which is just so nice. He doesn't score on the first attempt, but. If it weren't for Kinsei's insane recovery to get back behind that, that ball wasn't a dangerous spot. It seems like he can stick to that to put himself in great opportunities. I mean, even if it's predictable and even if it doesn't connect every time, of course, this one is probably the least effective one he's done yet. But up until then, he's been putting himself in good situations every time he goes for it. So not much reason to stop until... You know, we see a couple more defensive plays by Kinsei on them like he just did in a row. Kinsei gives away possession and Gino getting a little bit scared of maybe getting dunked again. Goes for the early flick high to try and pop it over Kinsei. Which is just going to end up resulting in a giveaway of possession. A nice pound off the back wall from Kinsei and Gino has to respect it. Notice he's up early to try and stop that double tap even though Kinsei ends up missing. Kinsei is going to set up another opportunity off the ceiling for himself here. As it's tied 3-3. Nice, musty. Gino's able to get there just in time, though. Might be able to get this counterattack if he's able to get there fast enough. And he does. He's going to go up 4-3. Nice save here from Gino. He's going to get rewarded. As this was a nice shot. Just barely able to get to that right side of the goal and get that save. Sneak it by Kinsei on the return. Oh, Gino missing the boost. This, see, this is terrible. And yet, somehow, Kinsei finds a way. Uh, Gino finds himself up 4-3 and just misses the boost on his kickoff here. Kinsei is going to destroy him. Get his fourth goal back. Four four here. Gino's passed a couple leads erased quickly by Kinsei. He's gonna get his lead back now. The nice jump at midfield. He tries to slow it down, waste as much time as he can. But he's gonna go up five four. Gino just thought he saw an opportunity to make a challenge at midfield, but was wrong. Nice high pop from Kinsei. Another kind of whiffed kickoff from Gino. Just kind of cracking under the consistent pressure that is Kinsei's play. Nice ground bounce, almost actually sneaks a ball right under the post, right under the crossbar. Nice flick from Gino, as he loves to do, is going to get him his fifth goal. He's just a little bit of a one-trick pony this game, but why not go for that over and over and over again? If it's getting you goals, and you can hit it nice every time like Gino has, just keep putting it in the net. So he's going to tie it back up with 26 seconds left. We'll see if Kinsei has been able to do what he's done in the past, which is just erase these leads immediately or sorry it's not a lead just yet but put himself right back in the lead as this air dribble is not going to be able to do it and Gino doesn't have enough boost to counter attack quickly and Kinsei stops it out with a pinch as he retreats to get boost of his own Gino tries to pop it to himself off the wall but he's not able to get around it and Kinsei can tell so he doesn't even jump off the ground for the save 
Oh, Kensei trying to squeeze that ball against Gino and keep it up. Certainly kickoffs have been favoring Kensei. Not sure Gino has scored one immediately. And that time, Gino again getting really off center on the ball on kickoff is going to result in him losing it. Pretty much every day of the week, you have to get there so early in order to ever push it past someone when you don't center yourself behind that ball. It's counterattack from Kensei. Gino up early. Doesn't want to deal with whatever Kensei's shot is going to be. He tries to intercept as quick as he can. 30 seconds into overtime. Gino taking it high with little boost. It's certainly a dangerous situation as Kensei is going to set up his counterattack. Always rough to leave yourself in a low boost situation and Kensei ends up using his flip to hit it off which means a counter attack opportunity is there can he rush this fast enough Gino does well to try and take it around to the other side of the net as Kensei had successfully retreated in time but ooh this pop is going to be it Gino trying to play fast nice recovery from Gino that extra flip though might have been the end of him if he weren't to get that bump on Kensei this backflip challenge is not going to cut it and with zero boost he's not able to get up again he is keeping this pressure on Gino though, and that missed challenge could be the end of it. Kinsey, maybe trying to get a little bit fancy. Almost seemed like he could have whacked that ball in with the EC side flip, but he's done with him now. He's setting up his opportunity for his sixth goal. Early pop, Gino's fake challenge, maybe convinced him to do that. But his shot tosses the ball too far away. Big fake in order to get Gino to not steal the ball from him, and he's now going to be able to set up an opportunity. Low boost, he goes for a low musty flick not able to get it Gino might have had the angle there for that counter-attack shot but it just ends up rushing it a little bit it doesn't get it nice save here from Kinsey as this gets tenser and tenser but that will be the end of it oh never mind I, I didn't notice Kinsey had low boost if he had even 15 boost he was gonna guaranteed hit a nice counter-attack goal Gino tries to go back to the bread and butter gets a good shot opportunity on but is he gonna be able to get this Six goal and take this game number three. Getting some latency variation. Hopefully these guys aren't. That demo doesn't come close to connecting. So Kinsey will head back on offense. He's going to steal some boost, but Gino is holding on to a lot of his own. Doesn't seem to be worried about it. If I was Gino, I'd be trying to set up that flick I'm so good at again. But he did try and go for kind of a mix-up dribble. Kinsey is not able to connect on his... Aerial attempt and Gino resets again here. Kinsey did not like how close he was letting that bounce dribble get to the net. Does well to turn early. Gino almost able to get around that ball. These two end up bumping each other. Kinsey's going to slam it off the sidewall and a 50. That demo should be it. Kinsey can get around that ball in time. He's going to play it as slow as he can. He's just going to tap it in soft. But GG's, good playing from Gino. Once again, guys, this is what we're talking about. The At the end of the day, the, the match gets reported as a 3-0. But we'd be lying to ourselves to not pretend like Gino just crushed it in that game number three. And really could have been anybody's game as Gino had multiple opportunities to score. But Tensei does make it look like a 3-0. <laughs>